When the first F-100 Super Sabres were delivered to the U.S. Air Force in 1953, with the arrival of the F-100, the age of supersonic air combat had truly begun. Hey guys, welcome back to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. Of course, we have one here from Hobby Master. It is from the 172 Air Power Series, which is, of course, a 172nd scale diecast. We have a North American F100 Super Sabre, uh, which was an American supersonic jet fighter. First of the Century Series, uh, hence the uh, 100 there. Uh, they first entered service with the United States Air Force in 1954 with a total of uh, 2,294 aircraft made in all the variants uh, between 1953 to 1959, of course. And of that number, 1,274 were the D variant here, uh, which is the subject of our model, of course. And uh, this particular Super Sabre is one from the 481st Tactical Fighter Squadron from uh, Tan Son Nut in 1965, which was piloted by Lieutenant Colonel Harold Comstock, who was also a World War II fighter ace, and this uh, F-100D was his aircraft that he flew during the Vietnam War, where he actually flew two tours. And what we'll do is we'll uh, have a little look inside the box. It is the typical Hobby Master deal, of course. The aircraft sitting there nice and snug in the packet uh, with the uh, landing gear accessories and uh, everything like that, and uh, stand and also has the details of the aircraft and the flaps and the specifications and all that kind of uh, general background and all that kind of information, of course. And, uh, you know, it's no good in the box. Let's get this Super Sabre out and have a real good look at it. And here we have this F-100D out. It does come with a little baggie with some ordnance that we will need to be putting on. We'll go into those in a bit more detail when we get to that. We'll open that packet up and there she is sitting in there nicely. We'll just pop that out. As I say, I really hate popping these out. <laughs> and we'll move that out of the way. It does come with the traditional Hobby Master stand, of course. And, uh, wow, this looks really nice. This is my uh, first what, F100, actually, to uh, have a look at. And uh, I picked this up from um, someone, on, you guessed it, selling on eBay. eBay should start giving me a commission of some sort or something. Um, I paid uh, $140 Australian of my hard-earned cash. And uh, this model does not disappoint. Wow, that detail on the uh, rear of that fuselage there, sort of a weathering effect. That looks fantastic. Um, it's all, it is a all over sort of a, a silver finish, um, or bare metal sort of aluminium finish, uh, which, you know, it looks fine to me. I don't mind it. It's, it. It is quite bright, I suppose. We'll have a look at the, the wing details there. It has some fantastic panel lines as, as per usual. Uh, you know, it's a Hobby Master. I'm, I'm getting pretty used to uh, high quality when I'm opening up a Hobby Master uh, model now. And uh, they do not, well, have not disappointed me as yet. Look at the front there. Obviously, it does need to have a couple of little things assembled on it. I think there's a big pit of tube that uh, comes off the front there. And uh, oh, <laughs> look at that. Look at that uh, big skull on the front there. And some mission markings. That looks really cool. Yeah, that, that's, yeah that's fantastic. Come down this side of the fuselage for you. Try and keep it in focus. And uh, yeah, all right, this this uh, sort of a weathering effect looks really nice. It's got some really nice tail markings for the unit. That looks really good. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. It does come up really nice. Run down the top here. That beautiful. Got to be, got to be happy with that. That for sure. I, I, I think this looks really nice. I don't have a problem with it at all. And uh, we'll, we'll turn it over and um, have a little look underneath. And obviously underneath it, you know, the nose landing gear and the main landing gear there, and the ordnance will go on all the pylons along the wings there. We'll have a little look in detail first. It's got the nice colours inside the wheel wells and everything like that, which is fantastic. That little bit of extra detail it looks really nice. It's got some reasonable engine detail there. Yeah, I reckon it's pretty cool, definitely. Oh, you know, the deal we've got it turned over. So what we'll do is we'll um we'll kit this super saber out and come right back in a second. Of course, if you want it wheels up, it's just these three pieces. So I'll quickly show you, that is the pitted tube that you need to fit underneath the nose, but it does come with two different styles of um, in-flight uh, refueling probes. And this is the baggie of the ordnance that you will 
be putting on your aircraft when you do get it. It does come with a fair bit of ordnance to put on, which will be really fun to do. And uh, let's do that right now. We'll be back in a second. Okay, here we have it all kitted out. Just another little note, if you do want to have it on the stand, there is a piece that you got to pull out so that it slips on to that little knob on the end of this stand. And also, uh, if you want to have it on the stand, you have to have it in flight. You can't display it on the stand with uh, the gear down because it fails on the gear bay doors. And uh, yeah, so unfortunately, if you do want to display this on the stand with gear down, you cannot. But uh, if you like to display your aircraft in flight, you can use the stand with no dramas. Uh, but unfortunately, if you'd like to display yours uh, with gear down on a stand, you cannot with this particular model. I just thought I'd make you guys aware of that. If you set it up the way it's um, from the box or whatever, um, you do have these uh, bombs and tanks here to go in your spares box left over. And uh, it does kit out really nicely. Uh, I have to say, it everything slipped on really easy, except, <laughs> except the refueling probe. I never thought I'd say it about a Hobby Master model, but it nearly killed me. Um, trying to get um, the pressure to push it into the slot with this fingers <laughs> was a nightmare. Um, the pitter tube just slotted straight in the slot without a drama. This thing was painful. It, um, it probably took me about 10 minutes to put uh, that refueling probe on. But they, and it probably took me about uh, two minutes to put the rest of the landing gear and ordnance on. So it was, uh, you will probably not have this problem uh, depending on the size of your hands <laughs> and fingers. But I, I did have like issue try, just trying to get that pressure to slot it into the, it, its slot uh, was, was a little bit, um, a little bit painful for me. But hey, look, it's worth it. This thing looks absolutely fantastic. It comes up superb. I reckon this is really, really nice. We'll turn it over and have a look at the completed model like th that. It is awesome. Yep, this comes up really nice. As I said, you will not be disappointed. This is a uh, beautiful Hobby Master one, and um, I think it is fantastic. And uh, I'll, what I'll mention too, the, the wheels do, do roll, these rear ones, but the front ones do not. So, yep. <laughs> but, yeah, I reckon this is really nice. It comes up fantastic. You'll definitely be happy. And... Um, from uh, from the United States Air Force, as you can plainly see, this F-100D is really cool. We will put it on the deck here. I'll zoom in a fraction for you so you can see it. And as I said, this is the the aircraft that was flown by Harold Comstock. He he would have an actual distinguished career in the United States Air Force, spanning 30 years from 1941 to 1971. But uh, he would actually pass away in 2009, aged 88. And um, I think this is a great rendition of his aircraft. It, it does come with a little Harold pilot figure as well. And um, I reckon it's pretty cool. So once again, um, I will wind this video up. I'll take some happy snaps of Harold, Sabre and chuck them up at the conclusion of the video, which is coming up right now. And this is by Hobbymaster. It is from the 172 Air Power Series in 172nd Skull Tie Cast, of course. And I think it is a really, really cool looking unit. It is the one from the 481st Tactical Fighter Squadron, uh, from Tansun Nut in 1965 that was flown by Lieutenant Colonel Harold Comstock. All right, guys, um, look, if you liked it as much as I did, hey, throw us a little bit of a like, that'd be awesome. And, um, you know, if you have yet to subscribe to the channel, feel free to do so. I uh, appreciate you guys uh, checking out another one of my videos. Thank you so much. And uh, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers. Retribution! Oh yeah, we want retribution!